Hey, what's up? Welcome to Dauntless. I just recently heard about this game and well I checked it out and it looked just freaking amazing so I had to try it. From what I can gather it's kind of like a Monster Hunter game. But just more cartoony in a sense. I guess I haven't really seen that much Monster Hunter so I can't say anything for sure. But what I can say is that um, this is the open beta of Dauntless that I'm currently playing. And they had a an update yesterday and oh my god it was such a good update because I could actually play like... I tried the, the, the tutorial area um, yesterday from this recording and uh, it was laggy as shit. But today they have fixed that issue and I could actually play so we are... I'm gonna record this. So let's go over and get our get first here. actual mission. I'm coming. By the way, the character customization for this... I've never seen anything like it and it's actually kind of interesting. A slayer's work never ends. Path of the Slayer. Cat would like you to meet the weaponsmith. Well, I'll do that. Okay, glad to see you, Rook. I appreciate the save, but now it's time for you to put down that training sword. Speak to Wills Borman at the Borman Smithy. Head past the boson and turn left up the stairs until you reach the smith's courtyard. Just listen for the clang of hammered metal. When you're through there, come on back. I've got another target for you. Keep those blades sharp. Will do, Captain. Will do. Okay, so we can see that up there. I'm guessing these are like mini quests or missions or whatever. With the bear claw thing up, up top. But yeah, so missions over here. And you're saying the beginning cutscene is kind of cool. So here's a strange thing. When you... Like when you first get into play, you dodge with space and you jump with F. The, that's just it's the weirdest combination I've ever seen. But I don't know if I like which key I would want to rebind dodge to because left shift is still sprint, so I mean. I don't know. But so far, it is really cool. And if you're wondering about the quality, um I could try to up it, but right now I just want the performance. I don't want that choppy FPS, so I'm trying to keep it low setting. Yeah. Aside from that, really cool. Ah, a bright light in my humble smithy. Right, Path of the Slayer. You really saw this through, my friend. Recruits, a pleasure to see you. I'm told you're ready to leave your training weapons behind and forge something new. That is true. Okay, would like you to yeah yeah. Complete. Weapon of choice, hello. Oh, and yeah, um, uh, the game, as far as I've read, doesn't really have classes in a sense. You can customize yourself however you want, and you can customize your weapons in different ways with different strengths so that you, you aren't locked into a role, but you can switch switch weapons and stuff that you have as much as you want to better, your, to better yourself against different, as they call them, behemoths. Yeah, so it's... It's really intuitive, is what I'm trying to say, and it's really cool. Do this little thing for Wings. Wings has offered to forge you a new weapon. Okay, my objectives are complete one of the following. Okay, a sword, a hammer, or chain blades. I have no idea what chain blades are. Um, uh, or is it literally like blades that have chains on them so that you can like swing them around two meters ahead of you? Okay. Um, well, I'll accept that. My friend, you need to use a training blade no longer. I can forge any of these more advanced designs. And remember, a slayer trains in all manner of weapons. Your choice, your first choice this is, but not your last. So, what can the Bormans Midi create for you? Yeah, you see, a slayer trains in all manner of weapons, so you aren't locked into a, a certain class or certain weapon or weapon style or anything, you are free to choose or go what with whatever the heck you want and and change anytime you want, basically. It's my understanding. Well, let's go straight on to crafting then. Okay, so recruit sword, recruit hammer, liking the design so far. And okay. Okay, I'm a little sad. I can't rotate that around, but meh. So chain blades, I'm not really a hammer kind of guy. 
At least not yet, so I'm not gonna go with the hammer. I'm thinking either the sword or the chain blade. Okay, 88 total power. I'm guessing, yeah, they all have 88 total power. Okay. So then it's just really just a matter of which one do I fancy the most. Honestly, I think I would want to recruit chain blades. Yeah, let's do that. Um, weapon requisition, trade into the weaponsmith for a recruit's weapon. So what if I, what if I were to click this? Then, ah, nothing. But I guess create. Oh, you actually hold it in. You just don't click it. Hey, item added. Recruits chain blades. To upgrade. Okay, so there are upgrade tokens. That's cool. And there we see what the uh, what the stats of it would be after we upgraded them. Cool. But okay, so I ha so I have the option to still like I can create all the weapons, I guess. But okay, let's do that then. But yeah, that's really cool. So they just. They don't even lock you into one weapon at the start, but you are free to, to choose between weapons even at the start. That's pretty cool. So let's create the hammer as well. You don't really see a lot of games do this and I am I am pleased about this. Alright, that should be everything, so let's go back. Behemoths beware! A slayer is here! <laughs> An excellent choice. I'm sure our mutual friend Catherine will be pleased as well. And do be sure to equip your new weapon before going on your next hunt. You will be surprised how many inexperienced slayers forget to do that. I forget to do what I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what I was reading. Okay, equip your new weapon. Yes. Uh huh. Complete one of the following. Hey, I I did craft every. Whatever. Tools of the trade. Equip your gear in the loadout screen to ensure you have the most appropriate armor, weapons, lantern and supplies on every hunt. Simply activate the category of gear you wish to equip and you will see the options available. Okay. <laughs> What's your back, friend? Sure. But yeah, we have a new quest. Let me just go to my loadout. Training sword. Yeah, and now I want to switch over to... Recruits Chain Blades. Yes. So, okay, now I have them equipped. That's good. That actually looks pretty sick. Two giant hatches. Or, well, pickaxes on my back. Pretty cool. Just take a moment to just appreciate this environment. It is so, it is cartoony, but it really. I think it fits the style of the game. And just. The boats over here, they are freaking amazing. Or airships, I guess you could call them. Really just amazing. I am liking this. And I think I read that it's Let's supposed chat. to be free to play. So, I mean, you can just pick it up. Well, we should be working on the books of the broken blade, I suppose. Hey there. Okay, so I have two options then. The Amateur Alchemist or Fury's Wing? Um, <laughs> I guess I should go Fury's Wings because Fury. I, I don't really know. Okay. Um, yeah, Fury's Wings. Listen up. It's important. Cat suggests you form a hunting party to take down the Rogue Strike. Okay, what if I don't want to do that one? The Amateur Alchemist. Ready for a challenge? Cat suggests you visit the Bosun and see what supplies you can offer. Yeah, I can do that real quick, why the heck not? You survived a rogue gnasher without serious injury, recruits, but you won't always be so lucky. Be sure to check in with the bosun. He's something of an amateur alchemist and he's told me he is cooking up something useful, some useful potions for you. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Well, I shall do that first. Um... Oh, you are the potions guy. I thought you were something else. Okay. Resetting sail soon? 
<laughs> Just straight to the point, I see. Okay, the amateur alchemist. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting the hang of this. So you've heard about my hobby. Yup. Alchemy has always been a passion of mine. And if I do say so myself, I've gotten a lot better at it. In fact, I cooked up some samples. First, some frenzy tonics. Use one of these when you want to do more damage, especially against an enraged behemoth. And these stamina tonics will help you recover when you're exhausted. Check out the crafting menu to see what else I can make for you. Alright. Ah, uh, Cassie J, yeah, yeah. So, I get three stamina tonics, three, three frenzy tonics, schematics for frenzy and ten stamina. Okay. Very cool. Good. Then let's check out my loadout and equip those. Um, okay, so slot one, that one, slot two, that one. Okay. Neat. Have a lot of notes. Well, I think we are prepared enough then. So let's actually try and do this. Gear up. Got a job for you. Hunt Rogue Shrike recruit, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, guess I'll have to do that. Have that new weapon equipped and ready to go? Because we have work to do. A storm we ran into awakened a rogue shrike nesting far too close to the city. Now that you've acquired a proper slayer's weapon, I'd say it's a perfect job for an ambitious recruit like you. Hit the hunt board, form a team, and take that behemoth down. Oh goodness, I have to cool. <laughs> I have to work with people. <laughs> uh, like I don't even. Sheltered frontier, okay. So this is a world map then. The Shattered Isles. Um, well, I guess. What? I have no idea what I'm. Do I click on anything or. No, I can't do anything. Good luck, so, back, I guess? Um. Guessing this is what I need to do. Or interact with. Oh, no. Why couldn't I interact with you before? Ah, oh, well. Shelter from Tear, Questing Area, Fury Swings. Yes. Cat Sorrel has found another target for you. She suggests you form a hunting party to take on a rogue shrike that's terrorizing the inner islands of the sheltered frontier. Ah, uh, yes, and. Oh, I can actually do private hunt. I wanna try that because I wanna get more comfortable with the game before I just start to mess it up for other players. <laughs> Okay, so private hunt. Hopefully it's okay with only one dude, because I am playing by myself. You know what? Let's just ready up. Let's see if it will actually launch, because I have read the forums and stuff, and... Well, it is, it is a beta, so the game still has some issues. But once you get in, it's actually a really good experience. Just look at that, amazing airship fuel remaining, so it stays in the air? Okay. This next hut is nothing to take lightly. I'll stay on the horn in case you need any timely advice. Okay, sure. But yeah, holy shit. Pick up the pace. Okay, okay. Just be quiet for a second, will you? Ah, oh, this environment is beautiful. Guess what I... I did want to make an analogy about this game, and I still do. Like I said, when I played Paladins that one time, Paladins is like the poor man's Overwatch. While this game seems to be the poor man's Monster Hunter World, or whatever the heck that game's called. So there are actually resources that we can collect, and those are, well, some of them are these flowers. That we can use to upgrade, I presume. I haven't really. I haven't really done that much in the game yet, so I can't say for sure, and this is... is this Aether? Seems to be Aether. Oh, can I not... Can I not pick you up? Okay. Huh. 
So where is this god darn behemoth? If you haven't seen the seen a behemoth before, or even this game before, and don't know what a behemoth is, trust me, you will s you will know what it is when you see it. Trust me. And also, I did read as well, these islands are seamless, so... Like, there aren't any more areas to load or anything once you load in. This is like... You can... You can explore a pretty vast area. It is vast enough that you can actually send out flares if, in case you, like, discover something or whatever, so that you can make other players find you. That's how big this game is. You need flares or, well, such things in case you get sort of lost. And also when my character is climbing, I'm not doing that, it's climbing automatically. Where would I go if I was a behemoth? I have no freaking clue. And climb up. Thank you. Okay, maybe the beast... As I said... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> You will see what it is when you, like, well, you know. That's apparently my dodge now, okay? Come on here, then. Just come back. You're just a giant owl. Yep, already liking these weapons. Already liking them. Oh, Jesus! This game also has invis invisibility frames, so if you time your dodges correctly, you can literally dodge through an attack. The Dark Souls style. <laughs> you sound just like a kitty cat. Oh, I already love these weapons so much. This is exactly what I had in mind. Yeah, you need to watch that as well. Come on, Finan. That's what I thought. Can't hit shit. The kind of weapons I prefer. The ones where you can be both long and short range. Come on, then. I'm right over here. Right over here, you sorry excuse for a monster. Yeah, I saw that one. You were getting ready for an attack. Oh, yep. <laughs> Nearly caught me with that one. That one as well. But no, I'm not that stupid. I'm not gonna fall for that one. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I dodged those attacks and he gets me with a simple just slash. Pathetic. Whoa! No, 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 you don't. I ain't gonna be that stupid. Famous last words. Oh, I did not expect that to happen. Like, pressing Q is your special ability, but I did not expect that to be my special ability. Hello, somebody hurt their butt. Come on. Miss me. I'm still here. Your eyes don't scare me. Whoa. Okay, okay. That was a lucky one. That was a lucky one. Nope. Screw you. Okay, now you're doing it. Hey, holy! I can charge off my health here, I think. Screw you. Get your big feathery butt 
out of here. <laughs> that dodged though. Oh! I barely saw that one coming. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh! I heard that grunt. You're getting tired. Nope. No, you don't. No, you don't, my good sir. Oh, straight in that face. Take it like a little bitch. Nope. Yeah. Did I not mention that? <laughs> it's just not one fight. You have to damage it and then you can kill it. Let's see. At least that's what it has been the last few rounds. You did not go that far. And the island is pretty big, so I'm guessing you have at least one more hideout to do. Come on then. Come on, baby. Hey, that's a new one. Whoa! No, you don't. Come on. I dare you. Ah, that's it. Wow. Okay. I was gonna say that's a new one, but nope, you just did your tornado attack again. Nope. No. Okay, that's a new one. Did not see that one coming, Captain. Just gonna make you scream a little, don't mind me. Oh! No! <laughs> I take a look at the flower for one freaking second and you just freaking go at me flying like, well, something. No! I've seen that attack before. I know what you're gonna do. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I think it's actually pretty cool that you can't actually see the enemy health bar, you just have to take a guess. At least I'm not seeing a health bar, so I mean, like yeah. Alright, now is my time to grab some more health! Or not, or not! Oh, bastard. That is exactly the one I didn't want you to do, god fucking damn it. Do anyone beside that one, please. Thank you. Uh, another one? There we go. Oh, I expended. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to mention. Um, those are actually expendable, I think. You only have a certain amount of these to rely on. So to speak. Like, each one of them have a certain amount of charges that you can use, is what I'm trying to say. So you have to share, in case you are more in a party. Oh, no you don't. Saw that one coming a mile away. But yeah, these kinds of games are, are cool where you actually have to like learn the pattern of your enemy to uh, beat it. Very Dark, so Dark Souls-esque. It's good, the light attacks don't drain your stamina, so you can literally keep doing it as long as you want. Nope. Okay, I was half a second short of time. Or well, half a second slow, I guess. <laughs> Just don't mind, don't mind me hammering away at your genitals. <laughs> at your no-no zone. <laughs> I can be over here and slap you in the face, that's right, bitch. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. May it gave you a good scratch. A good hurt. No, 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 no. Thank goodness. Though you have cool attacks, I gotta say. Nope. Saw that one coming as well. <laughs> Just hammering away at your butt. Don't mind me. Ow, okay. 
Do you remember that thing I said about invisibility frames? Yeah, I haven't mastered those. Not even close. What the? Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. Hey, I did it! Woohoo! Sweet! Hunt complete! Time me laughs, danger, okay. S plus rank, neat. <laughs> team rank, I was the only one on my team. <laughs> neat. No break parts, okay. Is that good or bad? So yeah, pretty cool. Like doing this in a party, I I think that could be quite awesome. Um. So yeah, this is not supposed to happen. I'm supposed to be back at Ram Ramsgate. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, as as I said, it is an open beta, so there are still some bugs. Something is wrong. Sheath your weapon when sprinting, or you'll drain all your stamina away. Oh, well that I didn't know. Dear Jesus, that took a long time. Silence for just an eternity. Oh well. We done. So work, let's claim this. I hope that fight taught you how to deal with the behemoth as mobile as a rogue strike. After that, I imagine your supplies could use restocking. The boson can help you with that. Not really, I didn't even use anything. Okay, from under cover. Complete. Back to the fight. Hey, recruit up weapon upgrade token. Woo! All right, so let's go to you first, I guess. High Skater Smithy, okay. Let's track this beast down. The boss recommends you meet Armor Ar Armor Smith Moira High Skater. I will do that. Hey there, recruit. Hope those supplies came in handy during that last hunt. If running low, I'm happy to craft the replacements for you. And speaking of handy. Have you spoken to Moira at the High Scatter Smith la lately? She can do a lot to patch up that armor of yours. You won't last long if you don't keep your equipment ship shape. Good luck, Cap. Ship shape, that is something I have not heard before. Interesting. I am inside of you, I don't mean to do that. Got a second slayer? <laughs> okay. I gotta be honest, your appearance is not what I expected. You could easily beat me IRL. Holy shit! <laughs> High Skater Smithy. You're back and alive. That's good. Well, look what the Shrike dragged in. I say that based on those talon marks on your armor, but I can do something about that. I can upgrade the armor you've got and even forge you something new. And hey, I think you forgot to wear head protection on that last hunt. This one's on the house. Thank goodness I was wondering when I was gonna get the helmet. By the way, you. Your weapon is a little in, in the way. Mm, okay. The boson recommends you meet armor smith. Yeah, yeah. Complete. Forging the future. This won't be easy. Ah, uh, will help you upgrade your armor. Yes. Objectives complete. One of the following: breastplate, gloves, greaves, and mask. I will accept. I can upgrade what you're already wearing, and frankly, I really should. Your armor really took a beating on that last hunt. Let's see the damage. Okay, so yeah, it's for upgrading each and every one of them. So it's the... Okay, so that's Greaves. You usually just call those leggings, so I got a little confused. Gloves. Breastplate. Mask. Okay, let's upgrade, I guess. Two more. 
and the mask as well. Let's do. Glad to see you in one piece. There you are. It still doesn't have the style of Behemoth armor, but you're definitely more protected than before. A good thing too. Sounds like Cat's looking for every available slayer to step up to protect Ram's gates. And I will step up. Uh okay, yep. Complete. Hey, good luck. Yeah, and now I have a new quest over there. But I think that will do, so let's take a look at here and actually equip this. I think I'm pretty well equipped, at least for now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be checking out some more of these um well, battling some more me some blah, blah, blah. Battling some more behemoths and just having general fun with this open beta. And, um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this little showing of Dauntless and what it is at this point in time. Because I figure they have a lot of general updates to make and performance fixes and whatnot. And I. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this. And so without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to let me know by smashing that like and sub button, leaving an awesome comment, and follow me on social media. Now have a good one, and I'll see you later!